using 8 millimeter hook and let's make a knot pull tight and pull in the chain 20 1 2 3 19 20 so I have your chain of 20 so now you're going to take a tape measure let's see how long it is and it is like nine and a half inches plus the stretch so nine and a half inches or 24 centimeter so chain three one two three and this is our first double crochet and in the fourth stitch from the hook you're going to make one double crochet and then in the same stitch from the hook you're going to make one double crochet and repeat it three more times total of six double crochet in the fourth stitch from the hook four five six and in the next stitch one single crochet and repeat one single crochet per stitches until the second stitch of the chain until the second last stitch of this chain so I am in the second last stitch of the chain now in the last chain you are going to make 6 double crochet sometimes it happened five and six and one single crochet in the next stitch repeat one single one double crochet I mean and one double crochet in per stitches until here so we are in the last stitch make one double crochet and make a slip stitch begin round three chain three one two and three in the first stitch you're going to make two double crochet one in the same stitch make one more double crochet two and you're going to repeat this six times so I have here a total of 12 double crochet so now make 18 double crochet in the next 18 stitches One, two, three, one 
one double crochet per stitches a total of 18 double crochet four eighteen so this is my 18 double crochet now and now I'm going to make two double crochet per stitches a total of six times now my last two double crochet one and one more double crochet in the same stitch two total of six times and then one double crochet in the next stitch one double crochet in the next stitch total of 18 double crochet 17 and 18 make a slip stitch in the first in the chain 3 And this is how it looked like for our round three. So 18 double crochet, 18 double crochet, and two double crochet in one stitch a total of six times. Two double crochet in one stitch a total of six times. Now let's begin round four. Chain three, one, two, three. The first stitch you find, make two double crochet. One, two, okay, total of 12 times. Repeat these 12 times. Two double crochet per stitches, total of 12 times. This is not included the chain three. We begin here. Eleven. And twelve. Two double crochet in the same stitch total of 12 times and now you're going to make 18 double crochet in the next 18 stitches one one double crochet in the next stitch one double crochet in the next stitch total of 18 double crochet total of 18 double crochet in the next 18 stitches and I am in my last stitch total of 18 double crochet now we're going to make to repeat what we did here, two double crochet per stitches, one, and in the same stitch, one more double crochet, two, so repeat that 12 times, and I am in my last stitch of two double crochet in one stitch, one and in the same stitch you're going to make one more double crochet two total of 12 times and now you're going to make 18 double crochet in the next 18 stitches and 18 and then in the 
first chain you're going to make in, and then in the first double crochet then in then make a slip stitch one two three four make a slip stitch right there to begin our round five you're going to make chain three one two three first this is how it look like okay chain three make two double crochet in the next stitch one and one more double crochet in the same stitch two and one double crochet three double crochet in the next three stitches so one two and you are going to repeat that pattern to the work this is not included as usual so this is our pattern to the work crochet in the next stitch and three double crochet in the next three stitches total of six times so let's count that to make sure this is where we start two double crochet three double crochet in the next three stitches one two three four five and six the wind outside is so strong I'm sorry for that noise if you can hear it so now make 18 double crochet in the next 18 stitches repeat that 16 more times total of 18 double crochet 17 18 and now repeat what we did here 2 double crochet in the next stitch 1 and one more double crochet in the same stitch two three double crochet in the next three stitches one two three and repeat this one double crochet in the and repeat this for a total of six times so I'm done here now you're going to make 18 double crochet in the next 18 stitches so I am in my last stitch 18 double crochet and now you're going to make a slip stitch one, two, three, and four. Okay. Chain three to begin our round six. And this is how it looked like for our round five. So by now you should have total of 22 inches and 
eight and a half inches wide so now in our round six we have chain of three already and now we're going to make one double crochet per stitches all the way around okay one double crochet in the next stitch one double crochet in the next stitch and just repeat one double crochet per stitches all the way around in our round six and I'll make you once in the last stitch I am in my last stitch make one double crochet right there total of 97 double crochet now you're going to slip stitch in the first chain 3 to begin round 7 to 3 and this is what it looked like that it started to form a basket So row 7 is you're going to repeat row 6, one double crochet in the first stitch you find, one double crochet in the next stitch, and one double crochet per stitches all the way around, all the way around. So in row 7, 8, and 9, repeat round 6. And in every row, and in every row is you're going to make 97 double crochet in total, including chain of 3. And I meet you once I'm done. Repeat the rows until 10. So 7, 8, 9, and 10, repeating the row 6. Now I am going to slip stitch and chain 3, 2, 3. And then we're done with 10 rows. So this is like, see that? from where we have started five inches and here is 22 inches like here 21 inches To begin round 11 is you are going to make chain 3, one double crochet in the first stitch you find, one double crochet in the next stitch, And one double crochet per stitches all the way here and until here just like this for the head cover of the baby okay just like in front of this I have here a total of 36 double crochets to start our cover in row 11 after you're going to make 36 double crochet, you're going to make two single crochet in the next two stitches. So one and two. After making two double single crochet, make chain of seven. One, one, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, 
seven. After that, count six stitches. One, two, three, four, five, six. And in the sixth stitch, you're going to make another single crochet right there. So we have this little handle. So just continue do one single crochet the next stitch one single crochet in the first stitches so 48 single crochet in total I just paid and including in counting of this where we connect this one here this is including in the count our first single crochet and in total is 47 single crochet and now you're going to make and in between of this one is six stitches and you're going to make seven chain one two three four five six seven and you're going to connect it here in the third chain one two three just make us slip stitch right there perfect so now we have our two handle together this and here perfect and now in round 13 you're going to make chain 3 to begin our round 13 so 1 2 3 3 and make one cluster so to make cluster, put your hook under the yarn, insert your hook in the first stitch, grab a yarn, grab a yarn, and pull through two loops only, and repeat that in the next stitch. Put your hook under the yarn, insert your hook in the next stitch grab a yarn and pull through two loops only grab a yarn and pull through two loops only we have three loops in the hook grab a yarn pull through all the three loops and that is one cluster now make three double crochet one two Three. Now one, two, and three double crochet. And you're going to repeat this pattern. This is not included because this is our chain three. You're just going to repeat this one. One cluster, meaning two stitches into one stitch. This is our decreasing part for row 13. And after that, you're going to make three double crochet in the next three stitches and repeat it all the way until here so I repeated a pattern for I repeated this pattern for a total of seven times like one cluster three single crochet in the next three stitches seven times of that plus this two, last two last one cluster so seven and one cluster in total so I have here I reached the last two stitches now I'm going to make a cluster because I have here one two three and cluster and now I'm beginning with the cluster so insert your hook and then repeat in the next one pull through two loops 
Round 14, you're going to chain 3. 1, 2, and 3. So what we're going to do is in the first 3 stitches, we're going to make into 1 stitch. So insert your hook, grab a yarn, 3 loops in the hook, grab a yarn, pull through 2 loops, insert, get a yarn, insert your hook in the next stitch, grab a yarn, Four loops in the hook, grab a yarn, pull through two loops. Now you have three loops in the hook. Insert your hook and insert your grab a yarn, insert your hook in the next um, stitch, grab a yarn, five loops in the hook, grab a yarn, pull through two loops. Now you have four loops in the hook, grab a yarn, pull through all the loops. 3 stitches into 1 stitch so now make 1 single crochet per stitches Two, three, four. so 24 double crochet in total and now I'm going to make the 3 cluster one in three stitches we're going to make into one stitch just like what we did here grab get a yarn insert your hook one two three insert your hook in the first the next stitch three loops in the hook grab a yarn pull through two loops insert your hook in the second stitch grab a yarn pull through two loops only grab a yarn insert your hook in the next stitch grab a yarn pull through two loops only four loops in the hook grab a yarn pull through all the loops and this is one so we're decreasing in this part and in this part only the beginning and then we just make one double crochet per stitches and this is how it look like in chain three one two three and do the same what we did in the 14 three stitches into one stitch one two three Four loops in the hook pull through all the loops and just repeat what we did in row 14 my last double crochet 20 20 double crochet in total after I made the cluster three stitches into one stitch and now we're going to do the same three stitches into one stitch one two and three four loops in the hook grab a yarn pull through all the loops and chain three to begin round sixteen two three that's our row sixteen look like now so row sixteen I have here a chain three already so we're going to make one cluster, grab a yarn, insert your hook in the first stitch you find, grab a yarn, three loops in the hook, grab a yarn, pull through two loops, grab a yarn, insert your hook in the next stitch, grab a yarn, four loops in the hook, grab a yarn, pull through two loops only, and three loops in the hook, grab a yarn, pull through two, three loops. And we're going to repeat this pattern all the way down here okay two stitches into one stitch so I'm here in the last two stitches make that into one stitch total of I repeated the pattern a total of 11 times 
chain one pull tight and cut the yarn make that tie just make it half to secure the stitch I make it I think I cut it too small it's still okay I just make two knots so row 17 I have here a new color I'm gonna use this and make a knot insert your hook in the last stitch pull the knot make chain one in the same stitch you're going to make one single crochet sorry for the sound outside it's so windy right now one single crochet in the next and one single crochet here just try to cover it with blue put another one single crochet right there now I'm going to make one single crochet in the next stitch And in two double crochet in a double crochet in the previous round, you're going to make two single crochet in each of that. In the same one single crochet, and here one single crochet. Doesn't really matter as long as this red color is covered by blue color. So two single crochet, two single crochet right here, one single crochet in the next stitch, so this is how it look like. I'll put Six single crochet. So here I have here a total of one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen single crochet in this part. Right here. And then now make six single crochet. One or oh, seven single crochet one. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, and one single crochet per stitches all the way down. So just repeat one single crochet all the way around per stitches. And here you should have 13 single crochet and one single crochet per stitches. And now I am in the last stitch of row 17 and in the first single crochet just make a slip stitch right there chain one pull tight and cut the yarn as usual you're going to make the secure stitch just make this in half make two knots perfect pull in to make it look clean round 18 i have here a new color mel color and this is 100 percent acrylic 
and I have here four millimeter hook this one is 100 gram and now let's begin round 18 first make a knot insert your hook in the last stitch we did in the last round insert your hook in the knot we just made chain three one two three and make six single crochet in the same stitch okay in the same stitch one i mean double crochet one two three four four five and six A total of seven double crochet including the chain of three so in the next stitch you're going to make three single crochet one two three So this is how our pattern will be in the next all around per stitches. Row one, seven double crochet in the next stitch. One, two, three, four. Five. Hmm, it's a bit difficult with this small hook in this yarn in the previous round. Five, six, seven. And three single crochet in the next stitch. One, two, and three. And then just repeat this all the way around. I'm in my last stitch. I'm going to make three single crochet. One, two, and three so we will not include this one because this is our slip stitch in the previous row now I just make a slip stitch in the first double crochet on top of that chain one pull tight and cut the yarn 